friends! How's everyone doing? I'm a little early today. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Guess what? I've got these fancy little blue light blocking glasses. I got my Kill Bill shirt on. It's been kind of rough these last couple of days, so I just kind of wanted to gather and, you know, chill out, swatch some markers with you all. Gosh, this is, ooh, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, let's get right to it. So I'm going to show you guys something and oh someone disliked the stream and didn't even start yet uh whatever that's crazy <laughs> i got a hater out there i guess i don't know but hey you know if i'm not if i don't have haters then i guess i'm not stirring up anything but <laughs> guess what guys i have not to be like a shameless plug or anything but i was going to put this on my uh my sketchbook here anyways but this this is new I have new merch and I'm gonna be ordering samples of my new t-shirts that are coming out I'm going to be actually you can click on the link below and see all of the new merch there's um, like a dark version of this and then this is a sticker we have I have like all kinds of crazy new stuff but it has essentially this logo right here and I mean there's hoodies there's shirts there's um, tote bags um, just I really like this design um, I commissioned a young artist to do this and they were so nice and so I'm really happy with it it's got that nice kind of 80s vibe to it and the 70s font so yeah pick up some stuff this is uh, I think eight dollars and everything goes towards the channel to uh, you know upgrade equipment do reviews things like that it goes towards art supplies and just keeping the channel alive and the lights on <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on hi everybody okay so I'm gonna say hello to everybody hello Heather she was the first here and we have Ms. Ebony hello I know you're really really psyched to be here because of the fact that I'm gonna be swatching some markers and hello Matt oh my goodness it's 2 a.m. in the UK Wow hmm that's wild I mean I really appreciate that you have either stayed up or gotten up to watch this that I feel honored and Mel hello Melody so you know what I don't really have if you can see behind me I've got all of these sets here and if we can get to it we'll do the skin tone set as well but I've got all of the swatches already like not the swatches but I have everything kind of the stamps that require the swatches I've got uh, this is Arteza Arteza and that's their skin tone set I think yeah there we go so how's everyone doing tonight everybody doing okay got any plans for those of you who are in the US it is Labor Day weekend and then Tuesday is my birthday why am I grabbing a watercolor brush I don't need that <laughs> oh my gosh my brain if it gets to be too noisy outside with the neighbors I will close the window but it is really nice outside so hello everyone hello a view is a view hello okay you guys you guys ready okay so okay can you guys hear all that ruckus going on outside I think there's some kids playing yeah okay all right uh, sorry about that I'm awkward uh, I think we're gonna start with the green set I got the green set in front of me might as well just go ahead and go with that now with each one of these sets they do come with a swatch card but I like having organization in my life. I like being able to open up a book and see the swatches. So there's nothing wrong with double swatching. But I will need these in order to see the names. I don't think that the names are on. They're not on the actual marker. It's just the number at the end. So these are not the brush tip markers. Um, although I do have those now. They're, they're the fine tip and the chisel end so and I I gotta say I'm a sucker for packaging I mean look at how cute look at how cute oh look at how cute I mean look at that 
And each one of them has a really cute little scenario, cartoon. Yep. All right. Okay, just going to look here real quick. You already have everything. Oh, Miss Ebony, you're just here for fun. <laughs> you're just here to see me swatch everything then. You know what? Brand new Alp markers like these and the Oros markers are coming out in pastel. Pastel. Yeah, and I already ordered the, the Alp. I'm going to order the Oros for my birthday. And um, they also have a second skin tone set coming out, which features deeper skin tones. That's fantastic because they really need deeper skin tones. But um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get on to it. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Swatched out already, but I'm just gonna use this for reference. Yeah, I, Melody, I, I agree. Artix has like fantastic packaging. And if we have time, you know, we will swatch all of these because why not, you know? given that there's no technical difficulties. You know what? I did not grab a white marker to mark these darker tones. Shoot. I don't think I have my, my, uh, wait a minute. I might have one. Oh, I do have a Posca pen. Look at that. It was just on the desk here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Are you going to work? Please work. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. All right, we'll set that over there. And so this that is dark green, that is 51. Just let that dry for a second. Get the ball rolling. I feel like I, I didn't even do a stream last week, but I feel like I've been gone for a long time. This is I hope these are in order. I'm sorry, this was um, deep green, deep green. This one is, this is lime green, which doesn't really look like lime green, but that's okay. I may be slightly quieter than usual on this stream just because I have to make sure I get everything right. And I'm really bad about like whenever I swatch and I don't concentrate or I'm distracted, I might mess things up. <laughs> Here we go. Oh guys, the Artist Loft gel pens are actually really good. It's like the only thing that Artist Loft makes that are, that's actually pretty good. I mean, their acrylic paint's okay, I guess. But look how pretty this color is. It's like a, it's almost like a, like a bluish gray, azure blue turquoise-ish thing. So this is lime green. All right. Yeah, I agree, Melody. Gray, gray tones and skin tones are a must. And the gray tone set in the Oros and the Alp markers are really nice. I mean, they, they have like green, gray, blue, gray, et cetera, et cetera. I think I know people prefer brush tip and for some for some things I do too but really the chisel tip is not bad I mean I think it's pretty cool I just don't know why companies have to exploit the brush tip because they know people like it better and they price it higher 
because I'm sure there's really no extra manufacturer's cost in that. Let's see here, 58 is, oh boy, 58, wow, is this, never mind, <laughs> this is mint green light, <laughs> I was like, how is it not on here? But it turns out I didn't have that folded up out all the way. So, go me. Yeah, yeah, good point, Ms. Ebony. Um, if you're watching this and you don't have any of these sets, you don't need to get all of these sets if you already have the 80 and 90 sets because they're already in. Like, basically, these color families are just from those 80 and 90 sets and they're just repackaged as just these different colored sets. Good point. I forgot to mention that. And I'm glad you guys can like talk amongst yourselves and uh, discuss those things. And you guys definitely contribute to the stream if I like just now forget something. Oh no, I accidentally smeared that one. Whoops. Thank you, Matt. I do love the Art and Fly marker sets. They, you know what? Those are some really, really good markers. I haven't made an, I haven't made a swatch sheet for those, an official one. I have in my videos, but they don't look the best. I'll be honest. I really love these these swatch stamps too. They're great. Who else is here? Hi, Arlena. Thank you. I love Kill Bill. It's one of my favorite Tarantino movies and one of my favorite movies of all time. It's so good. It's a great, it's great cinematically and of course dialogue. It's, it's fantastic too. But uh, if you're ever angry at somebody, it's a great movie to watch. <laughs> Peacock Green. And I love a good Peacock Green. It's finally cooled off here in the Midwest. Thank you, sweet tiny baby Jesus. You haven't, oh my gosh, Melody, you haven't seen Kill Bill? Oh my gosh, it is an investment in time, but you you have to see it. If you like Tarantino films, you will love those films. When I was pregnant, um, the first one was out already, and then the second one came whenever I was almost in, well, I was in my second trimester, and it wasn't an ideal situation partner-wise, um, I was on my own and I was angry. I was angry. <laughs> so it was kind of a nice catharsis to be able to have those movies around. So we have Peacock Green and this one coming up is Spring Dim Green. I'm almost afraid to go towards the edges here because I don't want to smear this. So I'll be very, very careful. One seventy four. Okay. <gasps> oh no, Melody. I'm so sorry you're still waiting on the parts for your AC. That sucks. Oh, 
That sucks. Nothing like... Heat is just... It can make you sick. I know as I've gotten uh, more mature um, <laughs> in my age, I am more sensitive to heat. Whereas it used to not really be that way. I mean, I didn't care for the heat, but if I'm out in the heat, like the really muggy, swampy heat, like it gets here, if I'm out there for too long, man, I get sick to my stomach. I'll get a headache. This is, um, I don't know how to pronounce this word. M-I-G-N-O-N-E-T-T-E, Mignonet. I hope you guys can see this. Everybody see everything okay? Do you have any box fans, Melody? Oh. Mazzoni was, um, was Kill Bill too violent for you? It is a pretty violent film. I mean, all of Tarantino's films have some form of violence in them. I think my favorite probably, I mean, of, of of all the Tarantino films, I mean, Kill Bill runs in it at a close second, but Pulp Fiction, there is nothing like Pulp Fiction. And I actually got to see Pulp Fiction on a midnight showing one year at a local theater, and it was really, really fun to see it on the big screen. Because I didn't see it whenever it first came out. That was grass green. This is Viridian. Everybody loves a good Viridian. I hope no one is offended by marker sounds because it's going to happen. <laughs> You've come to the wrong stream. Okay, a show of hands. Who also watches ASMR videos or listens to them to relax or get the tingles, quote unquote? And if so, what is your favorite channel or channels? Yes, Pulp Fiction is a fantastic film. In fact, I might go watch it after I get off of the stream tonight. I don't know. It depends on how late it gets. If it's past my bedtime or not. Okay. Oh, I smudged it. Oh, no. Oh, I hate that. I hate it when it happens. It's like a sensory thing with me. I apologize, guys. Um, I'm spreading the horror. Um, Spectrum Green. And I apologize that my like handwriting is not very clean and cool looking right now. Matt likes ASMR videos. Do you have a favorite ASMR artist? I kind of have different needs for different days, I guess. It depends. I really have a, I'll tell you what I don't really like is when they have the super sensitive microphones and they're whispering into the microphones like this. It's almost like a whisper yell. It's like, I'm gonna talk as loud as I can through a whisper into a microphone that will pick up on every little mouth sound that I have. I don't like that. But I do like a, a good, soft-spoken, dimly lit, like uh, one channel that I really, really love is Blue, Whis Blue Whisper, Blue Whispers? Blue Whisper, yeah. The gal is so, she's so magical. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe her. She's just a, uh, let's see, what is this? This is 48 is yellow green. 
Yeah, her name is Amy, and she's pretty... She looks kind of like an elf queen, an elfin queen or something. Pear Floor's channel is amazing, and, like, they make, they make paint. Like, since I've seen some of those paint videos, I'm like... <gasps> I mean, that's pretty much the pinnacle of a good, like, sensory experience is watching someone make paint with a super sensitive microphone. <laughs> Latte ASMR, she's, man, she makes some extremely high quality videos. I mean, some of her stuff is very cinematic, too. And she changes, like, her sets and everything. Every time that she has a new video, her, her set changes. And I just think of all of the time and effort that goes into that sort of thing. This is mint green, which, I gotta argue, that's not really mint green. <laughs> the mint green light is closer, but... I do want to point out something to you guys. This is the Ohuhu marker paper or marker sketchbook. But like, look at how different mint green light looks on this paper compared to this paper. This is the swatch card that came with it. I didn't know Uma Thurman got hurt on the set of Kill Bill. That's wild. I do know that her stunt double, um, Zoe, was in the Death Proof movie. And if you've ever seen Death Proof, I think it was, I thought it was a good, good film. It's definitely a girl power film. But, um... Yeah, her stunt double was in that movie as herself, and man, she's kind of mind blowing. Also, while I'm thinking about it, on a side note, you guys, I don't know what kind of music you listen to. I listen to all kinds of music. Uh, the new Halsey album is amazing and uh, I can't stop listening to it and it was produced by none other than Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross oh my gosh and y'all know I'm a Trent Reznor fan but I had been starting to like listen to I started listening to more Halsey and then I didn't even know that she was coming out with this record and so whenever I saw it I was like whoa okay I'm interested in this but I mean it's fantastic that is Forest Green I got, I got mad respect for an artist that can be versatile and pull it off well. And this is 51 and that is dark green. It certainly is. you listen to that record Arlena and yeah you can absolutely tell that Trent Reznor produced it even from like and and Keith may understand this Arlena but like and you may understand it too but even from the first note of the piano on that record is like you can tell it's Trent play a piano I can I can hear a piano that's played by Trent from you know from a mile away. It's 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 crazy. This is 167. This is pale green light. I'm just keeping my eye on the camera here on the screen so I don't like I don't want to be in the way of any swatches. 
J. Marie, it's Halsey. H-A-L-S-E-Y. She's awesome. You've probably heard her music before. It's pretty popular. Uh, 173 is Dim Green. Dim Green? <laughs> I actually don't know if this is the order that they come in because I, I I don't know I tried to put it back together the way that it was but I remember taking them out and swatching them on these cards and I don't I don't think I put them back in order but this is how the order that I have them in so I'm having fun this is fun Hello, Dragon Boy. Please remind me what your name is. I am so silly. I, I forgot your name. I'm not good with names sometimes. I really am not. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please don't be mad. Um, ABBA released music. You know what? I, I feel bad saying this, but I've never been able to get into ABBA. I don't know why. I don't know why. It just, I guess it just doesn't like, it doesn't, it doesn't grab me. <laughs> but I do like a lot of 70s music. I do. It's a great era for music. Led Zeppelin, Fleetwood Mac, Elton John. Love Elton John. Old Elton John. Um, this is 53 turquoise green. All right. Ben. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome, Ben. Everybody say hello to Ben. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say that, uh, mention that these are sets of 24, but there's a colorless blender in each set. So it's technically only 23. Why do they call it a colorless blender whenever it doesn't really blend? It's more of like a eraser in case you goof up. I kind of found that out um, earlier this year. I mean, I knew that, I mean, I don't know. I had worked with a colorless blender with the Prismacolors. So those were my very first markers I ever used in college. But I don't remember ever actually blending anything with it. If someone can inform me as to why they call it a blender, I would love to know. I guess there might be a way that you could use it. But I just don't know. This is deep olive green. Hello, how are you, Valors? Welcome. It's just a melty stick. Can we petition to change it to melty sticks? I would, Ben, that would be a really great name for it. <laughs> they do kind of melt the colors a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really, it's not really blending anything. So quick story, while I am going to bring some markers into the channel, the reason why I had not, and I hate to admit this, but somebody left a really nasty comment on my last uh, marker review, and they were like, clearly you don't know what you're doing. Markers just aren't your medium. And I really shouldn't have let that person like bother me, but it bothered me. I was like, why you, why you gotta be so rude? Maybe this is that's the person who disliked the video. Maybe they disliked the stream before it even started. I mean, I'm, you know what? I know it takes some thick skin to be on this platform and to be 
you know, put yourself out there. But I'm not bulletproof, you know? Let's see here. This is... This is a... Uh... Wait, no, I already did this one. See, that's what happens. I get all mixed up. I need to pay attention. <laughs> Thank you, Melody. I will ignore them. But one of the things that uh, Arlena mentioned when I spoke with her about this is that, you know, it, she said even if there was any room for improvement, and I think there is, but, you know, she's like, use that and take it as a challenge to prove her wrong, pretty much. <laughs> it's like, I like the way you think. That, that was vivid green. This one is 55. That is, this is why they should print the actual name of the marker on the body. Gosh. This is emerald green. Thank you, Melody. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ben. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes I think what always, I, I just don't understand how people can get on the internet and just dehumanize people. Like, I think sometimes people forget that, that, you know, whenever people leave comments like that, they forget that the person has is, is real and has real feelings. Melty stick works for you. It works for me too. It comes, each set comes with a melty stick. <laughs> Every oh, welcome, Valors. First time on the channel. Welcome. I'm going back and looking at some of the comments that I missed. Favorite color is green. I think, you know, I, I have a, a place in my heart for green. I have a place in my heart definitely for turquoise. That's green bice. And we're almost done with the green set. At this rate, we may not get to every last set, but we can always do a part two, if anything. But it's mostly because I talk too much. But I don't know. I don't want you guys to be sitting here in awkward silence either. This is the last one of the set. And it is called Turquoise Green Light. All right. So that is the green set. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Isn't that nice? Cute. 
what color do we want to do next? We want to do blue? You want to do blue or purple? Oh, you like my shirt? Thank you. We were just talking about Kill Bill. <laughs> I love Kill Bill. Actually, if you, you guys can't see it, but um, there's a, a giant Kill Bill painting up on my wall. Blue? Thank you, Ben. We appreciate your process. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. You wonder if Uma likes markers. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I sure hope so. That'd be pretty cool. I love Uma. So, I am going to show you guys how cute this is. It's got a little person on the bridge. How cute. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Look at these colors. Look how pretty these colors are. All right, let's see. Can I move this? Or do I have to move everything? Probably have to move everything. I have limited desk space, so please be patient with me. There we go. All right, let's do this. Such great packaging. Yes, absolutely great packaging. You love purples? Oh, let me show you what the purple one looks like. It actually doesn't have that many purple shades. There are some purple shades, but this is more of like a pink set. You see what I mean? Like it's kind of pinky purple, but yeah. You can always make your own purples, I guess. That's probably what they were thinking. And right away, this shade is called Ultramarine, but it's very purple, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Hopefully it'll pick up on camera. Like that's purple to me. That's a little streaky, isn't it? looks blue to you yeah this is a uh, Prussian blue I believe let me double check that yeah it's Prussian blue which that's pretty spot-on Prussian blue Oh, you guys, who here, show of hands, has seen the, the Bob Ross documentary that came out on Netflix a couple weeks ago? Because if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. I mean, I love Bob Ross as much as the next person, and I think he was, don't worry, not, it's not about, it's not like he was exposed or anything like that, because it's called like Bob Ross something about lies and betrayal. It's not about him being a bad person because obviously he was an amazing person. But the people who he did business with, not good people. And I don't want to spoil it. I'll just say that I will not be purchasing any, um, I'll probably be boycotting any, any Bob Ross products 
because that money should rightfully go to his son and instead it goes to the people who run that company and that's not right. This is Napoleon blue. I love a good deep blue. But what I do like about the documentary is that it does touch on just how magical he is. Yes, Melody, they were horrible people and they're very greedy people too. Yeah. And like, they're also, I mean, I don't want to sound ageist because this is, this is what I, before I, this is the caveat, okay? I guess I feel like, you know, if you get to a certain age, you shouldn't really be greedy. I mean, I don't think you should ever be greedy. How, what do I want to say? I mean, they're very, very on in their days. And I understand that money is important, but I just, I'm kind of like, really? You're just, you're gonna keep on being rotten like that for years and years and years. And you know, you're how old? Like, you could make this right, you know, while you're still here. I guess that's my point. This is brilliant blue, and I spelled that wrong. I just realized that. We'll pretend I spelled it right though. <laughs> I know they did steal everything from him. Pieces of, you know what? I mean, I was just like, and, and I see all of the Bob Ross products now and I see it so differently now. I see it like, it, you know, they're just exploiting him. They're, they're exploiting his name. And I don't think that that's what he would have wanted, obviously. This is jade green. This color reminds me of a beautiful crystal. That is something I gotta go do is do some crystal shopping soon. I'm due for a new crystal. Oh, this is so pretty. This is sky blue. But to me, it looks like a, almost like a periwinkle, or not periwinkle, but like a cornflower blue. So pretty. But yeah, not to bring the vibe down or anything, but I was just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, thank you, Ms. Ebony. Um, I got my swatch stamps from, it's, it's online on Amazon. It's a company called Waffle Flower. It's just two names, Waffle Flower. And they come with different sets. There's like two of them that I bought. And so this one ha includes, this is like, it's just to the 12. And then um, there, are, there are several other ones that you can buy, but um, there's two separate sets. And then there's a third one that I don't have that has like a, it's like a circular pigment color mixing wheel that I want to get. And they're not cheap though. They're like 20 bucks for the sets and it's kind of ridiculous, but I mean, it's kind of worth it too. <laughs> so <laughs> let me see this. I don't know why my, my messages are being held, I guess. My messages are being held for review with some, with some of them. Okay, sky blue. Well, thank you, Ben. That was very sweet. <laughs> 
I do care. I care about you guys. I care about... I probably care too much sometimes. Not about you guys, but I mean just in general, me as a human being. I'm what people would call an HSP, highly sensitive person. Anybody else in the house that's an HSP? <laughs> this is frost blue right here. It's so, I love this set. It's so pretty. It was the first set that I bought. And then it was like, well, I kind of have to have the full collection, but I, I don't know. I just, it was like, for some reason, I didn't want to buy the, the two sets, the A and B sets. I was like, I want the color families because the packaging was so cute. So here we are. <laughs> Ben, you're a nerd. Well, nerds are welcome here because I am too. I mean, I'm swatching markers. <laughs> so I am proud to be a nerd. Because like this, this right here, this brings me joy. It makes me happy. It satisfies my need to swatch. This is marine blue. Diane, yes, waffle flour is expensive, but you know, yeah, they are. They, I feel like they're worth every penny because I really don't like measuring and like getting a ruler out and like, ugh, gross. Who wants to mess with it? Nobody. This is a beautiful color. Absolutely beautiful. And it is... What is it? Indian blue. Is that... Is that appropriate? I don't know. I don't know if that's appropriate or not. But that's okay. We'll just... Uh, go with the flow here. But it's a beautiful color. It, sh it surely is a beautiful color. And guess what, Heather? We do have a cerulean blue. <laughs> Heather and I are X-Files fans, and there is a an episode of X-Files where, I don't even know how to begin to explain it, but there was like a, a villain in one of the episodes, and he could will people into thinking things just by suggestion, and... He talked about how cerulean blue is a gentle breeze and he said it enough to like make this cop think that there wasn't a, a truck coming when there was and I don't know. He ended up running out in traffic and getting hit and <laughs> it was wild. I had a dream last night that I was watching the X-Files but I was actually part of the episode. Like it was like I was living the ep X-Files episodes but they weren't really actual X-Files episodes. They were just, uh, there were little elements that were made up of the, the show. So like, I was fighting crime and and weird things in my dream, along with Mulder and Scully. It was pretty awesome. Matt, you're doing Inktober this year. That's fun. Inktober is fun. I don't know if you guys are interested in me doing Inktober. I might do it. Like, I might do a daily thing. I think that would be probably pretty intense, but I've seen other YouTubers do it. I did a class last year called uh, 30 Faces 30 Days from Sketchy and it was really a lot of fun. It was intense but it was so much fun playing with ink every day. 
I mean, truth be told, there is a huge special place in my heart for, for ink, colored inks, liquid watercolor, everything like that. Like, I, it's a language all of its own, and I really love it. This is a uh, baby, no, this is a uh, cerulean blue, is a gentle breeze. <laughs> So getting back to X-Files, I can't, because of that episode, I can't see the words cerulean blue and not think of that phrase that cerulean blue is a gentle breeze. Okay. 66 is baby blue. Is this not a gorgeous set? Come on. It's pretty. I'm so happy you guys are here and like there's pretty good chat going on and everybody seems to be having a good time. That makes me happy. Can't go any further, I'll get demonetized. <laughs> Do you have to buy those markers by family of colors? No, absolutely not. I just had to have the full collection, that's all. You. This is actually um, each, all of these make up uh, marker set A and B of the Ardex Out marker collection. So you can get sets A and B and get all of these colors. But me, I wanted all of this cute packaging, so it was actually, it costs more to buy them all in families than it does to buy them as two big sets. So you save like 50 bucks. <laughs> you're going to, uh, Ben, you're going to do only ink and pencil? Mm. Yeah. Ink is fun. I know you're only supposed to do, like, you're technically only supposed to do black ink, but... I didn't listen to that last year, <laughs> as I have many colored inks. And I even stretched it a little bit. You know, I, I would be like, well, this is a marker, but it's technically ink. Because <laughs> I used my Tombow marker in one of my pieces. I was like, it's dye based. It's kind of ink. <laughs> This is pale blue, but to me, this looks more like a lilac color. And yeah, it's uh, pale blue. And this is a very similar color. This is dark blue light. It almost looks like the same color, doesn't it? <laughs> full set syndrome, yeah. Uh, I, I, I get full set syndrome big time. And for those of you who came in later, uh, I do wanna mention that the Ardex Alp they, and, and the Oros, the brush tip, um, they will be coming out with pastel sets, okay? And so I already pre-ordered my pastel out set and I'm gonna get the Oro set too. And um, because you gotta have pastels, right? And uh, they also have a second skin tone set which features darker skin tones. They also had an artist collab, and I don't remember who it was, but it was kind of a, a, a strange color story. I went blank there for, I'm like, what's the word I'm looking for? 
So that's dark blue light and this is, I don't know, I can't swatch and read at the same time. I also have the Tombows that I haven't swatched yet. And I've had those for years. And I should have swatched them a long time ago. This is um, Pale Blue Light. Hey everybody, my mom's here. Her name's Jane Bush too. <laughs> Say hello to my mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. Thanks for being there. <laughs> yeah, Ms. Ebony. Yeah, it was something, I, someone I'd never heard of before. Matt, there's something called Huevember, a color wheel is created each year along with it a prompt list. I didn't know about this. Send me that information if you don't mind. So, Dragon Boy, you want to collaborate someday? Or are you talking about somebody in particular? This is um, almost the same color. <laughs> this is pastel blue. My mom is awesome, guys. She really is. She puts up with me. She's been putting up with me for f almost 42 years now. Jane's mom, Jane's mom, Jane. I actually have four names, but I go by Jane and <laughs> I'm technically to my family. My name is, is Jane Ann, but it got dropped. The Ann got dropped whenever I was in fifth grade. So At least my family has always still called me Jane Ann, but my friends have always called me Jane from then on. Let's see here. This is turquoise blue. Wait, that does not look like turquoise blue, really. I mean, it's more green than anything else, but I mean, like, to me, that's not really turquoise. It's more teal than it is turquoise. I'm picky whenever it comes to color names. I'm like, that's not what it is. <laughs> what a beautiful set of blue shades. Yes, my friends, I find joy in this. This is what I do. For those of you who were actually, if you were here for the live stream on the black light painting, there she is back there. And uh, if you want me to go ahead and do another one of those, I'd be like happy to actually make a video video or I could do another live stream. I had a lot of fun. It took a long time, but I did have a lot of fun. And I actually came across some black light nail polish and black light uh, makeup. And I think I could really like have some fun with that one. Because you got to have the full package, you know. So this is royal blue. Yes. 
Ms. Ebony, uh, the swatch set that I have has circles and squares in it. And then I have one that has like three little, um, there's like three, the stamp is three, there's a box and two stripes. And, and um, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter uses them too. So I have those that she has. Uh, let's see here, this is pastel blue. Did we already do pastel blue? We did pastel blue. Where am I? <laughs> 143 is mint blue. And guys, I, I will create more artwork on future live streams. This is just, you know, this is for sake of relaxation. And just for organization, which makes my brain happy. At least in the sense of, I'm not the most organized person in other departments of my life, but I like organizing my art supplies. <laughs> The other night I was even um, taking, I had bought on Amazon like 150 little swatches for nail polish. Like it's like a, if you've ever been to the nail salon and seen like the different samples that they have and they have them numbered and everything, you can buy like 150 of those things on Amazon for like $5. So I bought some of those and I started organizing and swatching my nail polish. And I was like, this makes me happy. <laughs> I'm like, wow. <laughs> I mean, hey, there's a lot worse things I could be doing, right? <laughs> I'm not getting into trouble or anything. There's a lot of pastels in this set, I do agree. And, the, and with the pastels that they're gonna come out with, I'm, I'm really interested to see what they'll have in those collections. Um, this is also called phthalo blue, and I'm sorry, but this is not phthalo blue. That's not phthalo blue. I know me a phthalo blue when I see one. And Bob Ross would agree, this is not phthalo blue. Rest his soul. But it would make for a great sky blue with some happy little clouds in it. I love this marker pad too, this Ohuhu marker pad. I might just do some marker sketching one night. The closer I get to the edge, the less I can really write properly. Did I skip over one? I feel like I skipped over one. I did, okay. We'll do that one. Or did I? Oh, my brain, no. This is the one, right? There's one that I didn't do and I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Sorry guys, hold on. Okay. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure it out after the stream. There is a lot of pastels in, in this set. 
that's why I like this this particular set because if you if you just wanted to buy one set like this one's a really pretty good well-rounded set but like the purple there's more there's more pinkies in, in there pink purples fuchsias stuff like that so this is 144 that is pale baby blue that's gonna bug me like I don't know I don't know what I, how I messed that up, but I must have forgotten something along the way. So I got eh, Prussian blue, Napoleon blue, uh, 71, oh this is 171. You know what, I think it might have been 71. Do we have 71 on here? We don't. That's the one. That's the one. It's cobalt blue. Yay, I figured it out. <laughs> Yay, brain. Good for you. What are you guys talking about? Oh, you guys are talking about like organization and labeling things and everything in your studios and in your homes with your art supplies. You guys are awesome then. You're good in my book. So that is the blue set, everybody. That's probably one of my favorite sets. So we have the green and the blue so far. So, what do you guys wanna see? We have purple, red, purples, red, yellow, grays, and skin tones. I wasn't really gonna add the skin tones tonight. I was gonna actually do all the skin tones all together. We can do whatever you want, I don't care. I know some people were wanting to see the purples Show you, I, I showed you what the purples look like. Um, okay, we got votes for purple. I'll show you what the red looks like, the red box. Wow, that's not showing up at all. It's getting blown out. But you can kind of see it. You'd like the grays too? The gray, the gray set's really nice. It's got quite a few in here. There's 36. It's hard to, everything's really, really bright. Okay, we got votes for purple. So we're gonna do purples. Melody, I feel you. I still can't get over the boxes either. They're very, very cool. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So many grays. And, like, there's... The shades are just gorgeous. I love them. So... There aren't that many purples. There's more pinks than there are purples. You like the Oros, the Oros markers, the, the sketch marker bags? Yeah, I, you know what? I just got mine in and I filmed an unboxing and that's about as far as I've got. <laughs> I got the set A, set B, and the skin tones. So we've got... All right, let's do this. That does have a lot of pinks, doesn't it? How many boxes are there? Let's see. Um, there's four, five, six, seven? Seven? Yeah, lots of pinks in this one. 
I was actually kind of, I don't want to say I was too disappointed, but I mean, I, I was hoping for a little bit more purple, but I understand that purple is, you know, it's a secondary color. So, I mean, you can, what's kind of nice is you could layer these two and make different purples with some of these, but I don't understand why we have these kind of, like, there's a buttercup yellow in this set. I don't get it. I'm, I'm like, no. Is there something I'm not understanding here? That, that ain't purple. Okay, this is, what is this? It's pastel pink. This is 146 and 146 is Mauve Shadow. Also, it's mauve, not mauve, okay? <laughs> I don't like it where, like it's, it bothers me when I hear somebody say mauve. I'm like, it's mauve, okay? Gosh. <laughs> more pink for you. But like the the red set is actually really good. I'm I'm not a huge fan of the color red. And of course as I wear red lipstick. I mean, I like red red lipstick. But um and red nail polish. But like I don't typically wear the color red in clothing much like not by itself usually I don't know I just don't think I look great in it but um, and it has its place but it's such a, a stark color and um, I don't even remember where I was going with this <laughs> but oh yeah this set really really nice I like it it's a very attractive set of reds this is pale pink light Like I said, don't really understand the usage of like peaches in here. These could have easily gone into the red set, but hey, you know what? Maybe they will reveal some beautiful purples, pastel purples in the pastel sets. Choosing Keeping just released their new sets of retro. Oh, yes, I saw something about that, Matt. Oh, where can I buy those? <laughs> where can I get those? 29 is barely beige. Thank you, Ms. Ebony, for not ever saying mauve. <laughs> Did you say it like mauve? Oh. <laughs> Melody, I am much more a fan of cool tones than I am red tones or warm tones. But I like a good yellow. I'll say that. I love a good yellow. Hence the shirt. Hence the headphones. But I like the headphones too because they have kind of this like blue mixed in. I just thought that the blue and the red and the yellow looked good together. Got another pink for you here. 
I swear there's an actual true purple in here. Is this pastel violet? Barely beige is in the purple. I don't understand it either. <laughs> I don't understand it. You guys, for my ladies and gents who were born in the 80s, for my people who were born in the 80s, let me say, because it's not just men and women out there, obviously. Um, to all my... To all my friends watching of all genders, I got Lisa Frank nail wraps. I am really excited about it. And it's got an old school 80s like unicorn on it. I can't wait. I, I would have worn them tonight, but I didn't have time to get that taken care of. This is pale lavender. That belongs in a set. Got another pink for you. This is a lovely pink. I like it. Speaking of the 80s, it's a Jim and the Holograms pink. Lisa Frank is awesome. I know there's been some controversy. I really don't know too much about it on their company, but um, I know back in the day, they used to be very cool. I've got the Lisa Frank Morphe eyeshadow collection. I have, um, whenever I was a kid, whenever I, I, I have it somewhere, if I can find the picture somewhere, I have a picture of my bedspread that was Lisa Frank. So talk about a girly girl. I was definitely a girly girl. I had a mullet too, but don't hold that against me. Everybody did. <laughs> Another uh, peachy WTF moment. I don't know. This is a uh, powder pink light. You were a tomboy, Melody? That's awesome. But you loved Lisa Frank too. You can't help but love Lisa Frank. The designs themselves just very, you know, kind of the epitome of like the 80s and then of course, you know, continued on into the 90s and the millennium nowadays too, you know. But to me, it'll always have a place in my heart for like the eight year old inside of me. This is, yeah, what is this? This is pale lilac. Who's calling me? I, it's my neighbor. Hey, Don, I'm, I, can I? <laughs> Can I call you back? Yeah. Okay. He's, 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 okay, he's in the house, so just come the back, so close your basement door and come the back way then. Okay. All right, thank no you. No problem. I got him here, no sweat. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs>
<laughs> That's my neighbor. I gotta go get my cat. So if you guys will just talk amongst yourselves, I'll be right back. It'll just take me just a second. Okay, sorry. The cat wanted to get in on the keyboard. Hello. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so my cat has a curfew, right? And that was Don, my next door neighbor. And he's about the best neighbor I've ever had. He really is. He's a good guy. And uh, he, uh, you know, Jack, my cat, he keeps him company and stuff. And so I have to go get him because he has a curfew. Because he, uh, Jack can't stay out too late. <laughs> so we kind of look after him, co-parent him, all that good stuff. We have joint custody. <laughs> He's technically my cat, but, you know, he... What, where was I? Oh, pale lilac. Okay. Um, but anyways. Yeah, that was the situation. I had to go get him. I kind of thought that that might happen, but I wasn't sure. So I'm back. Hello. How's everybody doing? Cats are sneaky like that? Yeah, cats are super sneaky. Super sneaky. Cats are aliens, basically. I think. Not like, they, there's this, there are those t-shirts that say like, cats are sit here, they're aliens sit here to spy on us. I don't like it like that. They don't, they don't show enough interest in us <laughs> like that. <laughs> but I do think they are kind of aliens in their own respect. This is lavender. Does that look like lavender to you? No. Nah. But it does look different on it looks more like lavender on this paper though so back to our regularly scheduled program cats think they're in charge they are in charge you had a persian mat and you called it bowie because he had a was it he or, or ziggy he had um, eyes like Bowie. That's awesome. I would love to have a bangle. I have a part bangle. Hi, Jack. You want to come say hi to everybody? You want to say hello? Are you going to make an appearance? Come here. Well, you're talking. You want to say hello? Come here. Come here. 
Ah! Say hello, everybody! <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my goodness, I love you so much. You little turd, but I love you. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Say hello to Jack. Jackie boy. He's my, um, kind of my problem child. <laughs> Uh, but getting back to what I was going to say, um, I would love to have like a, an actual pure Bengal. I love my little guy that's, um, his name is Monkey. He's half Bengal, half Tabby. And he is just the biggest lover. He's so sweet. What? This is what we do every night. He comes in and he just like wants attention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't give you 110% right now. This is This is medium pink. But there's um this Instagram account that I follow called Chatty Bingles and it's a, this woman has one bingle that's like kind of what you would picture a bingle which is like, you know, that kind of leopard like appearance kind or like tigerish appearance no it's not i don't know but anyways um you know how they look and it, he's kind of brown and he has these beautiful green eyes then she has another one named zoe who talks and responds to her at everything that she says and um she's beautiful too she's like gray and uh like different shades of gray oh man so pretty and I think they're like $1,500 to get a, like a pure bread, chatty bingle, <laughs> chatty bingle or just a bingle. I do, I do, I do say you should adopt first for anything. Should uh, uh, go to the local shelter, all that good stuff, because I do believe in that. I have gotten all of my cats from, um, rescues I guess are they rescues whenever you adopt them from like a local shelter then yeah you have a ginger melody oh yeah they're cute they're kind of like I don't know if it's just like ginger cats but they all seem to be like full of Piss and vinegar. <laughs> I don't know how to say it other than that. They seem to be very, very uh, spunky, if that's the word. They have a way about them. This is deep violet, very beautiful color. See, lavender here, it looks much more purple. So we are moving on to 88. And I actually like this this color. It's it's kind of a pinkish purple. I think it is called let's see. It's called pale purple. There speaking of the 80s, way back in the day there, I don't know if you guys remember this, but there was um there was <laughs> a drink called Burple purple with a B, purple, and the reason why they called it that was because it was like an accordion drink, like it, it literally like kind of opened up and made kind of this burpy sound, <laughs> it was kind of funny, <laughs> I just now thought of that, and that's been years since I've, like that came out of nowhere, let's see, 88 is, did I already say this, pale purple? Oh, he's using the bathroom, guys. That is an Ohuhu sketchbook. Oh, Amethyst Rock. So was the um, was the cat a poly had like polydactyl had more than. That's what they call it whenever they have more than like your average toes. They're so cute when they have extra toe beans. I love those toe beans. I love kissing the toe beans. 
your your tabby pointed Siamese. It's called Monet. That is awesome. I have a calico named Sadie, and she's so cute. She has the cutest meow. She's so cute and a uh, very beautiful girl. And then I have Jack, my ginger. And then I have Monkey, my half tabby, half bangle. He's got the long body of a bangle, but he, um, he's he got the, like his coat is much more like a tabby's. So this is... Wait. 68 or is it 86 is it 68 or 89 okay 89 89 was pale purple whoops this was purple gray That's pink, not purple. Why are they doing this? They're messing with my head, okay? Oh, Dee Dee, I love the name of your calico. That's awesome. Love me some Brad Pitt, I do. I think he was at his like peak hotness in Fight Club. For sure. One thirty eight. There's so many great Brad Pitt movies. Like he was so good in Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. So that's a great film too. Love that. I loved Eli Roth in that movie too. And so that was light pink. We have Azalea Purple. I just like the word Azalea. I like the way it's spelled. I think it's a pretty, I think it would make for a pretty name. pretty whoops I colored outside the lines uh oh Melody, Brad Pitt and True Romance. Yes. It's been a long time since I've seen that. I love that we're having a discussion about cats, too. <laughs> do you know a blend of a blender just for inks um, the Tombow blender is really I mean it's good for um, it's really good with the Tombow brush pens I think it, it works well I don't know if it really works well for alcohol inks though alcohol inks I mean if anybody's got any suggestions as to how you blend your alcohol inks like I don't know if there's just a blender for just inks though um, but I do know that the Tombow blender, or the, yeah, the Tombow blender works really well. 
I just don't think it would work for... I don't know. I haven't tried it. Maybe we should try that sometime. I'm sorry I'm not much help with that answer. I'm also... It's getting kind of late and I'm tired and <laughs> my brain's kind of like going... Ugh. But I'm sticking... I'm sticking around here for a while. That was Cosmos. This is 198 and that is tender pink. So, I mean, mostly, this is mostly pinkish. <laughs> oh, I am with this rock. You're killing me. <laughs> oh, man, dog farts. She says that her dog is saying, take me out now with farts. Come on back here whenever you're done. That's funny because it's like, when a, oh man, dog farts are the worst. But it's always hilarious whenever a cat farts because <laughs> it just cracks me up because it's on, on the very, um, I already did this. Oh man, I already did this one. See, this is why they shouldn't put all these pinks in here because I'm like totally not paying attention. Because that, this is that. So instead, we're going to just put the swatch over here and act like I didn't do that. We got to talking about, I got to talking about farts. And I got sidetracked. Apparently that's a very distracting thing for me to talk about. <laughs> this is pale pink. What is it, honey? Are you hungry? Guys, give me a second. I'll be right back. Well, you gotta be fed. You gotta eat. Well, let's go get you something to eat. Come on. Oh, by the way, guys, he didn't want food. He just wanted me to pay attention to him. <laughs> so, where am I? 198.9. Okay, I found my place. Yes, when a cat farts, it's very, very surprising and it's hilarious. Because I'm like, did you just do that? But when a dog farts, like, it... A dog will always look guilty and, and <laughs> be like, sorry. So what are the rest doing? Are you talking about, are you asking me about my cats? <laughs> Buttercup yellow. Why are you in this set, Buttercup Yellow? The rest, um, they are eating right now because they heard me, um, they heard the food. And so I gave them a little bit of a snack. I was going to go get Monkey and show you guys Monkey, but... We'll get him on another stream. He's 
eating right now. But he sure is, he's, he is so cute. We have a cuddling ritual every morning and every evening. That's like what we do, we, we cuddle. Okay, so that is vivid reddish purple. Very pretty. Oh, Ben, that's funny. Arlena's shopping for art supplies she doesn't need. Whoever said that you needed to need art supplies <laughs> to, in order to buy them? <laughs> we don't need reasons to buy art supplies, do we? Really? <laughs> I mean, I didn't really need to buy all these sets, but I did. But I also justify it by like, I have to share it with you guys. And I wanna swatch them and share them with you. And this is 82. This is kind of your classic purple, but it's actually called light violet. I know. <laughs> test what about uh mel what are you what were you talking about uh testing blending techniques for colored pencils i do still plan to get um some more colored pencil reviews up and some some of not just like the budget brands but like some of the well-known brands too like i might even do a video about like prismacolor and like do i still hate them um i haven't used it i haven't used prismacolors in a full set in like a full drawing in years probably about eight years so i don't know we'll see how that goes but i'm also going to do like uh I want to do the Derwent Light Fast. And this is Vivid Purple. So, there you have it. There's the purple set. You guys want to go for red or gray or or do you want to do yellow? Cuz there's like 48 in yellow, I think. Or the I'm sorry, 40. There's 40. Because if nobody picks, I'll just pick. <laughs> oh, that's what you're up to tonight? Your your melody is uh, playing with colored pencils. That's always a good, that's always a good time is to play with colored pencils. So. I think it's so hilarious that you guys are having, you're having a chat about cat farts that's so funny oh no look we had bleed through no i forgot to put down the oh no oh i'm sad now that's not good because this was um this was the yellow page poop I think, yeah, this was, I think, supposed to be the yellow page. Oh, well, we can always do that another time. Okay, so, happy accidents. Now, now Dee Dee wants yellows. Look, look at all that bleed through though. Oh, I wonder if we could just kind of go over it. I wonder if it would affect, it may not affect it. See there's, with this Ohuhu marker pad, there is this little guy that you put in between the pages. I'm down for yellows. I mean, 
That's fine. And this is what the yellow box looks like. Look how cute it is. It's got some sunflowers on there. It's such a cute little like fall. It's like perfect fall colors. It's kind of like there's there there's some flesh tones in here too. So That's true. Um, reds will cover that up. Hmm. Shoot. You know what, guys? I'm going to... I think I'm going to save the bottom half of this for reds, maybe, and then use one of these pages for the yellows. So, um, uh, Dee Dee, I don't understand. Um, you're saying that the yellows will have purples? I don't know if I understand what you mean. What is the name of the markers? This is Ardex Out markers. I don't know. I must be butting into a, <laughs> a conversation. I don't know. I'm just going to start swatching. Talk amongst yourselves. That's the Artix Alp series, A-L-P, like the Swiss Alps. Um, I actually don't have, you know what, guys, let me look real quick. I've got, I don't have, for some reason, my yellow box didn't come with a swatch chart. And I don't know if I can find one online. Here we go. Okay, cool. I just found it. All right. I won't be able to see everybody's chat on this maybe though, unless I drag drop that, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to organize everything so that I can do this and see you guys chat. Okay. Here is the yellow set. It's more like a like a yellow orange brown set. Yeah, I'm learning new, new things too about all about your guys' cats and your pets that, <laughs> that fart. <laughs> this is Oh, this is gonna be fun trying to do this marigold. 
which that's a great name for that color because that is exactly kind of what an orange marigold looks like. Sixty-four. You're up. One sixty-four. What's your name? Anise. Is that how you pronounce it? Anise. This is a beautiful brown color. It's a lovely umber shade you could really make some lovely uh sunflower paintings with this set and uh like fall themed 98 is chestnut brown haha <laughs> have you ever met someone that was like oh my favorite color is brown <laughs> or beige I could see brown maybe but beige nobody's favorite color is beige if you meet those people you run because you don't know what they're up to I wouldn't trust somebody that said their favorite color is beige Twenty-five. 25's name is fluorite yellow. I agree with you, Matt, that that's a great, um, the alcohol ink blender by Tim Holtz. That's a good one. I love alcohol inks actually. I haven't ever done anything like it on my channel, but I, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I made my own alcohol inks uh, when I first got into them with um, Sharpies. And I bought a bunch of the Tim Holtz and, um, oh, what's the other one? That's real big. Um, Jacques or Jacques or I don't know what the name of it is. I can't, it's 10, it's 10 o'clock at night. I can't really be expected to let, like, have my brain work at full capacity. <laughs> this is natural oak. And we have two blenders in this set. So we're going to go ahead and move on ahead of those. This is pastel green. Oh, this is a bigger set. I'm just gonna kind of blow through this one. Ben, you had a friend that told you that their favorite words, their favorite color was in their words, barf yellow. <laughs> Oh, and your heart sank. That is a sad day. <laughs> Were they talking about like a mustard yellow, maybe? <laughs> That's funny.
The only thing that's worse than that is like maybe like um, a pea green, like a pea soup green. This is burnt orange. There's some pretty ugly colors out there. There's certainly plenty more beautiful ones than there are ugly ones. So this one is called cream. No, Jimmy, I, I gotta say, Jimi Hendrix was not in Deep Purple, Ben, but he had a song called Purple Haze. And it was a great song. He was fantastic. A deep yellow brown, deep, what were you saying? Um, the corrupted olive color, yes, yes. Those are like essentially like the kitschy uh, 70s combo colors. Like, and I love a good ugly 70s like 70s 1970s like uh decor i love that stuff because it's so ugly but i don't really like those colors on their own so this is 44 this is fresh green because i guess it's kind of greenish on camera but it sure doesn't look green in person You need all of these sets? Oh yeah, for sure. Like you do need all of these sets. Diane, who is it? Bag a day crochet. She has a favorite, her favorite color is brown. To each their own. I'm not really sure why anyone would wanna have their, like their, um, favorite color is brown but you know that's okay there's nothing wrong with that I don't think oh Ben you just broke my heart you listen to Nickelback it's okay we all have some guilty pleasures you know so dark yellow I can't I don't know I can't think of any who's what's your guilty music pleasure okay everybody comment I don't really know if I have any real guilty pleasures like nothing that because I listen to all kinds of music I don't really care for a lot of like mainstream pop artists usually, but I do I do have a few um, I do have a few pop songs on my playlist. I do have a few Britney songs. Free Britney, by the way, absolutely free Britney, and. Um, Christina Aguilera got a couple of her songs. And that woman's got a set of pipes on her, man. Uh, this is, it looks like this is um, Canaria Yellow, but it, I, it might have, it might, I don't know. That should be Canary Yellow, but, because that, that's exactly what that is. And maybe that's a, um, maybe that's a typo. I don't know. So, I, as I was talking, we have um, dark yellow and canaria yellow. Willie Nelson is your guilty pleasure, Dee Dee? I think Willie Nelson's great. I, 
I love Billie Eilish too. I got a few Katy Perry songs that I like. Ninety nine. Ninety nine is bronze. I love Lady Gaga. If we're talking on the subject of like pop stars, but like Lady Gaga isn't really she's she's not just a pop star. She's like all over the place. Like she can do many different things. And um, like we were talking about earlier, Halsey as well. I mean, she just released a an industrial record so <laughs> that's pretty awesome i'm not exactly sure maybe this is because they wanted lots of browns and different options but this particular set has more more colors than the other color family sets. I'm not sure why. This is olive green. Sorry, I don't mean to shake it. I, my, my leg starts like shaking because I have that. Um, that might be puke. I, I agree, Arlena. This might be puke, puke yellow. <laughs> Barf yellow. There we have it. Girly Papa General, Millie Pants. I love your username, by the way. I like female artists who are not afraid to take risks, and I like when they're kind of the full package like you can tell when they're really like an artist they really have that artist aesthetic like with their appearance and they can have that chameleon madonna type of thing where they can change their look and they kind of go through eras and they kind of go through these um different sounds that they create you know and they do it well i like that 95 is burnt sienna Oh, oh, Millie Pants, I love Cindy Lauper too. I was actually Cindy Lauper for Halloween one, one year, whenever I was about, I think I was six. Yep. I spray painted my hair, or my mom did. That should have been a sign right there I was going to be, like, who I am today. Which I've started my wig collection, by, by the way. So whenever I wore uh, my white wig in the black, uh, the black light video, I've kind of started to get these, like, costume wigs. And I might even go lace front if I want to at a later point. But um, I just think it's fun. It's just fun. So this is pale yellow. This set so far is like the epitome of the 1970s right here, like the 1970s decor <laughs> that I was talking to you guys about. Like some mushrooms. Everybody had mushroom decor back in the 70s. It's like the color of like 1970s Tupperware. This is da, 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 brown gray. Oh boy. Now that turns me on some brown gray. <laughs> that color's hot. <laughs> I love a good synth wave. I am like, okay, here's an artist that I think 
you kind of have to have an acquired taste for her, but I really respect her as an artist, is uh, Grimes. She, um, she really is something else. This is 109. Pearl white. Ooh, whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Shag carpet, the green grass. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, shag carpet. It's the shag carpet set. I gotta take these things off. These are just like smooshing my ears at this point. Oh, nice. I got red lipstick on them. I'm falling apart, guys. <laughs> Let's, I gotta check my, uh, my appearance, make sure that, yep, see, I smudged my, my red lipstick. <laughs> God. Is that better? I think it's better. Wow, I really need to put the self-tanner back on. I'm, I'm really pale tonight. So here we are. If I've been talking louder than normal, I'm really sorry because I didn't mean to. Melody says she is a total metalhead in symphonic metal, y'all. Yeah. Hey! I don't know what to do for you, honey. You can come in here and hang out with us. Ooh. Now that is a shag carpet yellow if I ever saw one. Honey, why? He likes to be around people. He's a very social cat. You just like to have human beings around you, don't you? Yeah. Good boy, come here. I love you. Sorry I have a really farty chair. That's why I don't really like wearing red lipstick because if you smudge it, you get it everywhere. Mm. Ben's favorite female artist or female group is heart you know what i am down with that because ann wilson man she has got some pipes on her man she's like the female uh robert plant like she can just belt it out lemon yellow I know, Ms. Ebony, he really wants me to show him attention. He's like actually right behind me here at my feet. <laughs> it's so cute because like Don, the guy that called, um, he, he like follows Don around and Don lost his, um, his dog a couple of years ago. He had to put her to sleep. She was having a lot of health problems and she wasn't getting any better. She was getting fluid around her heart and it was just basically keeping her alive at this point to keep like getting the water or the fluid drained off of her heart and um ever since then him and jack have gotten close and i think it's so sweet because they're crazy about each other this is uh not creepy at all baby skin pink what the what in the world i mean really And let's, let's also just remind this brand that that's not the only color that babies come in. That's not the only uh, skin color that babies come in. Hello? <laughs> it's just a creepy sounding, please. Am I, am I wrong here? You know what I mean, it's a creepy sounding color. So.
that didn't sound right whenever I said it. So that's only that's not the only color that babies come in. I didn't mean to make it sound wrong. What I meant to say was it's it's kind of like whenever I see colors like this that are called flesh. Okay, that's not the only color that that flesh is. So <laughs> so let's get over that. And that one was just as much like the same as this one almost. So that one was 142 and that was 142. I don't know. Where are you on this chart? Oh, pale cream. Now see. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, it is a bit spooky, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a spooky name color. But I don't think that... I don't think it was meant to be spooky, but it does sound that way. It could be something that's kind of lost in translation, too. So, um, 169 is putty. Matt just brought up salt and pepper. Salt and pepper was from way back in my day. I still love Push It. I think Push It, Push it is an anthem, but I do like What a Man. That's a good one. It's a really good one. Who else watches reaction channels? Because those are great. Like the ones that are actually really, really good. Um, some of them that I like is Mr. Video and uh, Jamel, AKA Jamal. Those are some of my favorites. 32, deep yellow. Thirty-four. By the way, guys, the caps aren't always reflective of the color. So this is this is exactly the the reason why this is important to swatch everything before you start using your you know your art supplies. Otherwise, you'll get yourself in trouble. This one's just yellow. It's just yellow. Hmm. Ms. Ebony says, uh, all flesh is white as flesh is the dermis underneath the skin. We see it when we get a deep cut. That's true. I guess I am, I am wrong. So thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. I guess I've, maybe I'm just sitting on ready tonight. No, but seriously, um, I never thought about the technicalities of that. <laughs> It's, it's the epidermis and the amount of melanin that gives skin the tone that, is that right? Am I right? I can't really expect to be like too sharp right now. It's like quarter after 10, I apologize. And this one was, I can tell that my hand is getting like fatigued here, but, um, this is, I don't know, what was this, 96? Mahogany. By the way, guys, I will be taking this week off. It's 
since it is my birthday week and um, I'm going to be working on some other stuff. I'm, I say I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off from a regular video. Uh, and I just kind of, I need to like regroup a little bit. And I know I just took last week off because of my health, but uh, there's a lot of stuff that I would like to execute in the next few months. And I want to, I'm kind of thinking about some of those, like the trajectory of where I want to go. And um, that was pastel yellow. And so um, just uh, please be patient with me. <laughs> I kind of wanted some, uh, some time to kind of just unwind and, but also think about the future of this channel and, and October is, you know, one of my favorite months out of the year because of Halloween and stuff. But I, my kid is too old to be going, well, he, he thinks he's too old to go trick or treating. I mean, he's 17, but he's not really, he's not getting up and we're not going, you know, getting dressed up or anything. Um, I might do something special for the channel though. And, you know, also if you want to send me your spooky stories, I would like to do like a spooky story, um, video where I talk about like e either your encounters with the paranormal or ghosts or if you want it to be completely anonymous that's fine if not then you know I can credit you it just depends on you know what you want to do uh, my email is southpaw creative arts and it is in it's at gmail.com and it's in the description box in my latest videos so and you can always um, message me on any of my socials if you want to just send it that way too. So, kind of went off on a tangent there. This is, this is orange. Great name. It's my birthday. Thank you, Melody. I will definitely enjoy my birthday. It's beautiful. The weather's going to be beautiful all week. I'm so happy. I will say that even though we do get the muggy, the muggy months with like July and August, mainly August being really muggy and really hot, we have the most beautiful like fall weather and we really do have lovely springs but not so great on the winter and summers so my body likes to play tricks on me during winter and and become more painful and stiff and stuff so it's never fun 92 is chocolate Thank you, Amethyst Rock. And thank you, Diane, for the uh, fact check on uh, how blood is not actually blue and that it shows blue. Sometimes it shows green on some people, like on their wrists. Like that's how you can tell if you're actually like a warm uh, toned person. Like if, if, you, if your flesh tone is, has a, a warm undertone or a cool undertone. If it's cool, then it's blue on your wrist. If it's um, green then it's you're a warm you have warm undertones but if they're both then you're kind of in the middle you kind of have a neutral undertone to your skin and that one was 26 what is this pastel peach I don't know, I've just been kind of feeling like I want to do something different for the month of October, like to do some, at least like dress up, or at least get, you know, wear wigs and dress up and have fun for my videos in October. Um, like I could, you know, do the, the spooky stories, subscriber spooky stories, and do some kind of like Halloween themed piece. Maybe a black cat, I don't know. Raw silk light. <clears throat> okay, that wasn't the right end. <laughs> 
this. This might just be puke green. Well, we were talking about barf yellow. I guess that was technically what we were talking about. Yeah, if you're if you're if you become if your skin gets yellow, go to the hospital because that is jaundice. That is your liver quitting on you. Thank you, Amethyst Rock. I love that we're kind of like bringing this into the color scheme here. This is why I love you guys. This is why I do this because I always have interesting conversations with you guys on live stream. That's walnut. And I've ordered a new dummy battery for my Sony ZV-1 and hopefully we'll get back to using that for the live stream so I can have a better picture, better quality stream. Um, we're using my phone right now. This is 21. This is terracotta. I do still plan to live stream on Sunday though. I just won't have a regular video for this week, just to clarify. I do plan to do that. This is brick brown. I am so with you on that because we did we had like a slew and like a stream of consciousness of weird like subjects all <laughs> like strung together and oh it's, it's great it's a good time yes dragon boy uh ben sorry ben please send me an email i want to hear i want to hear your paranormal spiritual story um and you know you guys these stories don't have to be necessarily quote unquote spooky i know it's halloween and everything but like if this is something that you've encountered like um that is actually moving deeply moving and not necessarily scary or whatever like you can totally send me those as well if you want to share them uh it's totally up to you though but um they don't have to necessarily be like a ghost story or anything. Uh, this is potato brown, which I think, I think is funny because like the slang of potato being used these days is really funny to describe something janky or big sick or <laughs> like that. Oh my gosh. So we have a couple more left. Well, now that we're kind of like bringing science into the subject matter, um, I have been getting bruises on my legs off and on for about, I'm sure it probably has gone on a little bit longer than what I, since I caught up to it, but um, last few weeks, I've had multiple bruises on my legs and there's even one on my, is it still here? I've got a little bit of a bruise here, but um, I had a big bruise on my leg the other night and these are not caused by like me bumping into things and so I had some blood work done and um, this is melon yellow that don't look like melon to me but um anyways as far as I know I'm not deficient in anything so I gotta go get some more tests done this week at my rheumatologist. And I should do another like chronic pain vlog update, et cetera, et cetera. I guess I just feel like, I mean, I know you guys wanna know about it. I know some of you really actually can relate to it, but it's more like just a life vlog, but it just happens to be that that is a part of my life, you know? Like I just, a lot of people positively responded whenever I kind of opened up and told you guys about my, my medical conditions. And I, I really was deeply 
inspired by, you know, the encouragement and really appreciated it too. Let's see here. Rose beige. But, um, I don't want it to be like every time I blog, it's like a big downer because of my condition. <laughs> so... Now this is 70s green for sure. It's like that olive, puke olive green. But this would be, a, this is this is good for um, landscapes. Okay. Diane, good for you, you're an organ donor. I am an organ donor too. Yes, if you can, if you have healthy organs, be an organ donor. Actually, speaking of organs, well, I guess it's <laughs> kind of related, but I found out that I have what's, I can't remember what the name of it is called. There's an official name for it, but I don't actually have two separate kidneys. I have um, one horseshoe shaped kidney. And I found that out because whenever I was 25, I had kidney stones and oh my gosh, let me tell you what, that kind of pain is up there with having a baby. That's, that's up there with labor pains. Nothing to joke about. This is, this is yellow ochre. Oh, wow, I can't even spell. Okay, guys, you know what? I am, I can feel myself like shutting down. <laughs> and I know we didn't good, uh, we didn't get um, all of the, see, I can't even talk. I didn't, I know I didn't get all the marker sets, but I think we can, we can do the red. And I tell you what, we'll even throw in another set next time, but we could do gray, that we could do the grays and the reds and the skin tones and even kind of like, if we have time in that session, we can, you know, I can do some demoing, some sketching. So what do you guys think? Um, thank you, Amethyst Rock. Yeah, I actually, um, I, I do have some, some good pain meds. I actually, um, I have a medical cannabis card too. And I don't, uh, all the markers, do they smell? I don't know. I don't, I mean, they smell unless you, you know, this is not like a, a strong odor. They're very low odor. Um, some markers, you know, you, you uncap them and it's like, whoa, this is not, it's not like that. So I'm trying to think if I covered everything with this set. This is kind of a strange set, but I mean, I like the, the variety of yellows and oranges and browns i mean i really do kind of like it. you could make some wonderful like sunflowers with that you could make a lovely um field of sunflowers you could make you could make a um, a 1970s room <laughs> you can make a room picture of a 1970s living room with it <laughs> but um so we will pick up where we left off next time. Um, and we will we will do the rest of the Ardex boxes and uh, we'll we'll have fun. We'll just kind of do like the rest can be in kind of impromptu and you know, I don't know. I love you guys. You guys are, I had a lot of fun with you guys tonight. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Yeah. So um, yeah, also. You can pick these stickers up if you want down below. They're brand new to my shop along with some new merch and I'm gonna uh, order some of those samples and I'll model it for you guys even. So yeah, it's an autumn palette for sure, JR. So thank you so much everybody. I really had a great time tonight. I, I think we got a, a really, really good like um, crowd that comes every week thank you and come back next week and the following and everything else because i just love hanging out with you guys it's like 
I get to catch up with my friends on Sunday night, and it's just kind of a chill, nice chat, you know? So, bye, you guys. Sorry I'm a hot mess tonight. <laughs> Next time I see you, I'll be 42. Big old 42. So, okay. And everybody, stay safe out there, okay? And be good to yourselves. And be kind to others, okay? All right. Bye, guys.